So we're back. You see, you got the Salt Shooter 2.0. A few weeks ago, we made a basic 101 class for the Salt Shooter. Loading, cocking, safe firing, sights, all that. So by this point, you're either loving it or you're hating it. You're either stacking bugs or you're not. Your mom or your wife or whoever's on you constantly about packing your gun around or she's encouraging you, one of the two. There's no in-between when it comes to salt shoot. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to shoot something on the back of my arm here in just a second. <laughs> so what we decided to do was we made that basic video. We decided to go straight to advanced. We're going up way up steps, not, not 101, 102, whatever. This is 500 level stuff. Whoa. This is advanced saltomics. This is killing insects with a salt shooter at the highest degree. Now, again, you'll hear, or not again, but I said this earlier. Oddly enough, we got interrupted like always. Um, but anyway, I said this earlier. You'll probably hear people online calling it saltonomics. It's not saltonomics, saltomics. We're not talking about investing funds. We're talking about killing bugs. Now, whether you've got the 2.0, the 2.5, the 3.0, it doesn't matter. If you want to become an advanced bug killing machine, you need to watch this video probably multiple times. <laughs> when we talked earlier, we talked about getting close. We talked about holding it out here. We talked about the weaver position, locking this thing in so you get good accuracy. If you're an advanced salt shooter and you want to become an advanced salt shooter, you have to understand that that's not always going to be possible. It's not always going to be possible to have a nice firm footbed, to have this arm locked in, to have this arm. That's not possible. You're going to have to learn to shoot on the fly, peripheral vision, constantly. You're going to have to know what's above you, below you, right, left, front, <laughs> back. That's the only way you're going to learn to really, truly get the most out of this machine. And that's what this is. This is a killing machine. <laughs> so follow along here. I've already got this cocked up. This is the other thing. This is a 500 level salt class. Okay. I'm not going to talk about don't put your safety on. Don't point it at your brother's eyes. Or I'm not talking about any of that. You already know that. <clears throat> I have this gun cocked and this gun is off safety. And I'm not playing. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to go along. You can go on a hunt with me and you're going to see how advanced this class is. And hopefully this is going to help you get to the, not the next level, about four levels up in your bug killing. So come along here, honey. <laughs> now, again, when you're doing this and you're on the hunt, you've got to see everything. You've got to see what's below you, above you. <laughs> they might be tacking from above and you just got to, you got to hit them like that. You never know. That's the thing about this. These are advanced. These are polymorphic, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> These are polymorphic hunts that you have to, you've got to be in tune. And you've got to be, because here's the thing with insects. You not only see, it's not only this, you got to hear them. <laughs> you got to hear the little tiny footsteps. Sometimes you can smell them. <laughs> you got to use all your senses in this. Now, I was out here earlier. I shot some flies when I got home from work. It's a good release. That's why the 2.0 is such a great little tool just to get home, bust a couple, and move on. But So I'm going along here, and I've got to be looking. Now, there's usually flies over here. you got to watch these door frames. And these went... Oh, honey, get over here. Get over here. i got a shield bug. Zoom in down there. I've got a shield bug. Do you see him? Tell me you can see him right there on the edge of the concrete. Right here. You see him? Yes. Now, on these shield bugs, they can be really tough, but they're not very smart. So you want to get as close as you can to these guys. Oh, oh, good night. That is it right there. <laughs> now, you see, I wouldn't have spotted that if I'd have, if I'd have just not even been focused. I'd have been out here just hee-hawing for fun. This is straight up bug killing. <laughs> so we just took down a shield bug. Now, again, watch your door frames and watch your windows. Insects are attracted to these. If you're going to shoot at night, find your lights. Uh -huh. Your outdoor lights, you, I mean, it's more targets than what this thing will hold. So I'm still coming along here. I know I've got these over here. I'll keep these in my back pocket. I'm going to talk about some advanced shooting there in just a minute. But I'm going to look at these windowsills. I'm going to look around. You've always got to be on it. 
Can I come to this flat surface? Okay. Oh, I got some flies. I've got some flies sunning here, huh? You're gonna need to come around behind me. I got some flies sunning. Now I'm gonna show you a really cool technique right here. This is called the ricochet technique. What you can do is if you've got a nice hard flat surface, you can shoot slightly above them and you can skip this salt into them and you can really paste them good. I've got three flies on. Do you see those two? Can you zoom in on oh, those two right yeah. now? I... Zoom in on those two. I'm gonna show you how you can get multiple kills out of this too. We're not gonna do the skip technique yet because I don't wanna scare these flies. I would hit this one, but it would ricochet up into the other one and scare him and possibly not kill him. So I'm gonna come straight on. Oh, good night. I'm gonna recock. I didn't scare that one. Oh, good night. I've got the one on the roof. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he may have. He was a cripple. Oh, he was a cripple. I'll have to finish him. There. But you notice right there how I squared my gun up to the target. So I came in at a 90, took him, took him, took him. Uh oh, one's buzzing me. One's buzzing me. Yeah, he was right in front of you. That's how you can take out multiple targets. Don't come in at an angle where you're going to hit this guy, but you're going to flush this guy. Make sure you come in nice and square on these. Now, hopefully there'll be one around here where I can show you this skip technique. Okay, I got a, I got one. Oh, I got multiples. Honey, I got multiples. Zoom in on this guy down here. My shadow's getting in there. Yeah, can you see him down there? Now, I'm going to aim about an inch above him. Tell me you got him. Yeah. Watch this technique right here. So, you'll see that fly was here, but here's the center mass of my pattern. I hit an inch above him, and I skipped it into him flattened him now i'll show you this same thing on a bigger target right here watch this can you get this one right here above the window yep now watch this above technique or below i should say oh oh there he went got him now there's another one where'd that other one go hun oh there's a little there's a little okay. bunch. oh got him there's one right here got him see this is what i call shotgunning this is only a single shot but this is shotgunning bam 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 this comes from Using this bean for more, seeing your surroundings, <laughs> identifying multiple targets, and knowing how I can shoot each one of those without flaring the other ones. So let's continue around here one second, because I got one other thing in this advanced class. There's a little, oh, 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 got him. Oh, got him again. I've got one other thing that I want to talk about in this advanced class. We've talked about multiple shots. We've talked about 360 plus underneath, which makes 480 degrees of knowing what's going on around you. We've talked about quickly cocking. We've talked about angles. Now we gotta talk about one of the other more important things, which is shooting off balance. There are gonna be times when you're walking and you can't get this foot planted to get that good base. You're gonna have to shoot slightly off balance. Maybe you're in the middle of a step and you see, oh, I've gotta get him. So what you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to know uh, judging your targets, let's see if we can find anything else. I know where there's some over here. You're going to have to know which foot to shoot off of. Let's go over here, hon. I got some in my back pocket over here just for this. Come over here with me. I'm going to have to advance over to the other side of the property where I got more stacked up. They were over here earlier, so I suspect they're still here. I didn't mess with them. Where are you, little devil? Okay, uh, now, that's not one. You find them a lot on vehicles as well, so don't give up on your vehicle search. Oh man, they were here earlier, they got away. Let me see. Nope, nothing in there. Let's keep on our search, man. Let's go over by this, this chair. All I need is one more target so I can show this last advanced technique and then people can start practicing on those until we do like a thousand level class to finish. Oh! 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 Got him! Oh! Oh! See, that's why I'm talking about you got to be looking in the sky. All of a sudden, there he was and I just had to take the shot and it took me multiple hits. That's a good example of not being having a good stable base where you just got to start firing and you just <laughs> you got to take him down. But anyway, I took him down. What was it? I didn't even see it. Some kind of fly, mosquito. 
I mean, you're, please crane fly you're a bug. O- you're only shooting like pesty bugs, right? Not yeah. beneficial bugs. No, I'm not shooting like lady beetles and stuff. Okay. Anyway, that is a perfect example of why you've got to be aware in advanced saltomics at all times. Let's go to the chair. Okay. Hopefully, we can get one more shot in. Oh, I didn't even see him just <laughs> coming at me. Luckily, I have the 2.0. Oh. Let me go over here and see if I can find any targets over here to shoot. Now I go, did you notice how I went rapid to creep? <laughs> I know there's not any bugs along that stretch because I killed them all for two years now. But when I get to here, I walk, then I go into creep. See, I'm watching. I got one over here on this table, honey. Okay, hold on. I got to. Oh, that's a big, oh, God, he's a smart one. He saw us. Yeah, he probably saw me. Saw us coming. Okay, well, hold on. Let me keep looking. I've shot at him before, I'd say, judging by his character. Let me see here. Okay, I got, oh, I got two over here. Come come right around the edge where you can see the leg of the chair. Now, I'm going to talk about two different things. Can you get both of those? Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk about off-balance shooting, and I'm going to talk about multiple targets with one shot. Okay, so you want me to look at you or the bugs? No, I want you to look at the bugs. Okay. Now on this, I'm going to put all the weight on my right foot because the way I'm holding this gun is the way that bullet's going to come down on there. If I was on my left foot, I'd be leaning back too far. Now I've got two targets here. I'm going to try and line them up. Oh, and that's two flies down with one shot. I did not put them there. They came there on their own. (laughs) They were there. I took them both out. Now again, here's that shot in slow motion for people who were looking at the bugs. When I got here and I saw that, I put all the weight on this front leg. I leaned into it, and then I went straight down once I had them lined up. For that particular shot, I try and look at the sights. That's a multiple kill, one shot. That's going to take some sighting until you are really, really advanced. I probably could have just busted them, but not for the camera. So I put that weight. If they had been over here somewhere... I'm going to switch this. I'm going to put the weight on this leg, and I'm going to let them have it like this. So hopefully everyone enjoyed this. We'll give you a little time. I'll just go ahead and fire that in a safe direction so I don't leave it cocked overnight. <sighs> Saltonics 500 level. <laughs> hopefully everybody's stacking bugs. Maybe in a few weeks we'll do a 1,000 level class, the last of the most advanced techniques. I hope everybody enjoyed it.